welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so you are very, very focused on your work. You've got the diligence card over here. So it seems like you've got your head down and you are working pretty hard. There are some secrets that are being held from you. Maybe these will come to light, but people, there's somebody keeping something from you, pretending like they don't know anything, but there's something that will be coming to light. You've got uh, the brown-haired woman, so there's somebody that's preventing you from moving forward. You can see her hand is up there, so she's somebody that is acting as an obstacle for you. Uh, then There might be somebody that you have to deal with this brown-haired woman uh, that uh, is preventing you from moving forward. So somebody uh, causing some kind of distress, preventing you from going forward. There's a reconciliation card over here. So there might have been a broken relationship that you have been trying to mend, building bridges there. And there's a lot of growth that has come for you. So you've got uh, a lot of stability because these are big trees and they have, you know, big roots. You're on your new, you know, your journey, you, um, but you've gotten... Uh, You've grown a lot. You've learned a lot. A lot of lessons have come. These are big spiritual lessons that you have learned. Now, going into the future, you've got the destruction card, which is the tower card. So there's some kind of big change in energy coming in for you. Maybe some kind of information coming to light. Maybe these secrets are coming to light. That's going to cause a little bit of disruption and cause, um, you know, uh, it's going to shift the energy. If you've been stagnating, it's going to move that energy. You're going to have to uh, you know, uh, dig deep and use all your strength to be able to sort through these problems. So whatever challenge you will be able to sort it out, you have the strength to deal with whatever information comes in, whatever disruptive information comes in, whatever change in circumstance that comes in, you will have the strength to be able to deal with it. Now those are the energies for that week. So I'm using the Pagan Ways Tarot for the main read. I have shuffled this deck and I have put it in the description box. So please have a look. Okay, so you've got the death card over here, and this is talking about uh, cutting ties with the past. You've got the sickle in, she's got a sickle in her hand. She's, uh, uh, you know, an older woman, showing that there's a lot of experience that came. So there was a lot of bad news, bad luck going on for around you, and you are now putting a permanent end to that particular situation. You're cutting out things, and you're moving forward you're leaving behind that difficult situation. The clouds are parting over here, so it looks like you have new insight. And there's also spiritual guidance coming in for you because you've got a lot of stars. So you are following your path, and it looks like you are putting an end to any kind of difficult situation. There's endings uh, that are coming on, and uh, you, know, you are facing it. You are moving forward. There's a brand new beginning as far as money goes. There's a manifestation card of here. So you are in the process of manif manifesting a new job, something brand new coming your way. So in the form of new money, in the form of a new job, a new opportunity, a new sunrise coming in. And you've got this rock showing stability over here. So something that's going to be long term and it's going to bring in a lot of wealth. You've got the hangman over here. You've made a lot of sacrifices and you've been dealing with a lot of toxic people over here. And, you know, you might have received a lot of bad news as well. Uh, but it looks like, you know, you are ready to take a leap of faith over there. It looks like he's... But you are feeling a bit stuck. So you want to make that change. You want to get over the situation. But right now, uh, you know, you are feeling a bit stuck in this particular situation. Something is still tying your hands, um, preventing you from moving forward. It could be, you know, these toxic people that you're dealing with are presenting these obstacles. Uh, you know, it looks like, you know, with the hangman, it's about sacrificing something in order to get something. So there might be something you might need to work harder or, you know, give up something in order for you to make uh, that change. Also, this is about new insights coming and in, seeing things from a different point of view uh, in order for you to make that change to move forward. With the hangman, it's about waiting. Things are going to come and fall in your hand and you are being guided. It's very spiritual. It's a very spiritual card, the hanged man. Now, 
in the past, you've got the Six of Cups, so you've been looking to the past with a lot of regret, maybe remembering how things were when you were happy. She's looking through this window, so it's almost like looking through, um, you know, a window in your mind's eye, remembering things how they used to be. You feel as though you're a bit disappointed because this cup is empty, and you know you you had a lot of plans that you wanted uh, to do, and maybe you didn't get to do it, and this is why you're feeling a bit of regret. Now you're looking at the past to make plans for the future, because you can see although she's got the past in this window. She's still looking to the future. So maybe this is now, since your situation has changed, and because you've been cutting out that past, you are now using whatever lessons you learnt. Uh, you know, uh, you can see the death card. It's got that heartbreak, the three of um, swords. So you went through a very, very difficult situation, a, a heartbreak situation. It could have even been a legal separation from somebody. You're looking at the past now, and you're using whatever you used to be or whatever dreams you had to make plans for the future. And you're starting to take control back of your situation. This is the Dominion card over here. So this is putting the past behind you and the toxicity. You can see there's a snake here, and she's manifesting. So you're focusing your will on making plans for the future. And you're doing it by yourself, so you're not relying on anyone else to help you out. It looks like you've, you've reached a crossroads in your life, and you're now making a decision to move forward. You've got that transition card, and so you're putting the past behind you, lots of towel moments behind you, and you're leaving behind that situation and all that lack of clarity. There's a lot of uh, cloudiness in the background over here and mist. So you're coming out of that situation and you're moving forward. So you're getting that mental clarity as well and you're moving away from that difficult situation. You could have also faced a legal decision, you know, legal problems and you are now getting away from it. So you've got the Six of Wands, <coughs> which is showing victory after a very, very difficult situation. So lots of ones behind, lots of battles being fought, but you coming out on top and getting a lot of recognition uh, and a lot of people had admiring you for overcoming the difficult situation. The Queen of Wands is your card over here, so you taking control of that situation. You're being very proactive. She's wearing a lot of red over here. And she's overcoming all these difficulties by herself. And you're now starting to relax. She's also got the wand. So you, whatever, you know, you are thinking, you are being able to bring it out into reality. So, you know, you're taking very, uh, you know, taking control of it and you're very much in charge. And people admire that. They see you as a person of leadership. So uh, you are very focused on your work. This is how people see you. And you, know, you are very skilled. You're collaborating with a lot of people. You're a person that's really uh, you know, very dedicated to whatever they're doing. And this is the thing that is bringing in the money with the Three of Pentacles. So being very self-sufficient and working very, very hard. What you want is that financial independence with the gain card. And you want to be able to sit back, relax, and enjoy you know. Uh, whatever you've worked for. So this is what you're hoping for. You want that financial independence and you want to reach the top. So uh, going to the future, you've got the Hermit, the Foundation and Restrictions. So with the Hermit card is, you know, focusing on work, getting a lot of inspiration or getting a lot of enlightenment. You might be going through a phase where you are going to be studying and working alone and working very independently. Uh, this is a lot of focus being put onto your work life. And also spending a lot of time by yourself as well. You've got the three of wands over here. So there's a new offer that's going to come in. And, you know, it's going to bring in a lot of people. Uh, you're going to be collaborating. You might be doing a lot of travel. And you're going to have to, you know, look into this offer very seriously. This is something that is important. It's going to bring in a lot of abundance and a lot of change for you. So it's going to take you out of being lonely. And you're going to have a lot of people that you can communicate with. So this is something that you are really considering very, very carefully. And, you know, it's going to bring in a lot of abundance. So, um, Make sure that you don't turn your back on this particular offer. It's something that's really good. It's a flower. It's going to blossom for you. So it's going to bring in a lot of opportunities and take you out of this feeling of restriction. You went through a period of a lot of financial loss. You were dealing with a lot of toxic people that caused that. Uh, you know, maybe you've been abandoned by a lot of friends left out in the cold, uh, you know, these people were not worth it anyway, uh, and, you know, you are feeling very unsupported at this particular moment. But this new offer comes in, and you've got this three of wands over here, so a lot more people, it's going to open up a new avenue for socializing or even a new av uh, avenue for collaborating and meeting a lot of people. Uh, so make sure that you consider this offer very carefully that comes in. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the fairy tarot. Oops.
So these are all really, really positive because you've got the Nine of Summer, which is the Nine of Cups, which is the Wish Fulfillment card, which says wishes come true, dreams are fulfilled, and a magical time of life. So you're going to get what you want. Whatever you've been working with, you've got that support. You can see this woman has an, another woman supporting her. So you've got that support coming in for you, and also there's a lot of stars, so there's a lot of guidance coming in for you, and it looks like wishes are going to be uh, you know, coming true for you. You've got the renewal card over here. So review the past and the present so that you can plan a bright new future, underestimating, uh, sorry, understanding your life purpose and releasing judgments of yourself and others. So you are at that fork of the roads, uh, fork in the roads. It looks like there might be some study coming in. There's definitely new information, uh, but it looks like you're going to be changing direction and it's going to be the renewal card or the judgment card is always about success after going through a lot of hardship and having learned a lot of lessons and you will have success assured. You've got the Ten of Winter over here, which says the resolution of difficulties, a weight lifted off your shoulder, and the end of an addiction or codependency. So if you were codependent on somebody, that relationship has now come to an end. It seems like you have severed ties with that person, and you've put that particular situation to rest. So the Ten of Winter is also like the death card. It puts an end to an old situation and brings in the new. It looks like the difficulties are now be behind you, and you will now move forward. So don't go back to the past. The renewal card says use the past and move forward and you're going to get the nine of cups which is the wishes being fulfilled so everything you wanted is going to fall into your hands there's a lot of victory in this particular spread uh, you know focus on your work focus on yourself and it looks like you know you will get uh, this new offer that comes in that is going to be really beautiful and it's going to blossom into something really good so don't let the situation depress you try not to live too much in the past and regret too much move forward the past, the worst is behind you now, and you will now start something brand new. You will start a brand new cycle, which will bring in brand new stability and brand new opportunities. Brand new manifestation. So it's going to give you your power again with this Queen of Wands. Put you back in the driving seat again. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave me some comments if it hasn't. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.